got drunk on an old photograph of you. This is JC Hopkins. We've known each other over 10 years. He's kind of this record's godfather in some ways. I'm interviewing Jolie Holland, asking her some questions about her uh, new record, Pint of Blood. It's called Pint of Blood in reference to a William Burroughs quote where he said something like, if you hang out with someone and you later on feel as though you've lost a quart of plasma, that person is not your friend. <laughs> What role does where you come from play in your songs? Or? I come from Texas and there's I grew up listening to Texas Swing and my great uncles used to play with Bob Wills, my great uncles played with Willie Nelson. And there's so much swing and flavors of swing in Texas and so much blues and flavors of blues. You know, my grandparents uh, were really proud that Lead Belly was from the same part of the world as them, mm. my Texas grandparents. And so when I hear Lead Belly speaking on a record, I hear their voices. It brings a smile to my lips When I think of your fist Narrowing in on and cracking his ribs Your song Remember is one of your more angry songs. A few people offer to break somebody's ribs for me. As far as I know, uh, dude's, dude's ribs are unharmed. Yeah. No one, no one was harmed in the making of that song. Okay. I really enjoy keeping the songs as much about real things as possible. There's the line about the mockingbirds, and uh, I, was, I was making out with a boy in McCarran Park in Williamsburg, and like, there were no birds singing around us when we started kissing. And then after we started kissing, there were all these birds singing around <laughs> us. It was so magic. When I wrote The Lilith Birds with Samantha Parton, like over 10 years ago, we, uh, we did write it with a high life feel, but we didn't have the band that could have executed that. Mm. So the, um, the band I play with in New York is entirely capable of that. Um, like Gray Gersten grew up listening to uh, music from all over the place and he's really into uh, Nigerian music and he's really sweet. He gets me, he gets me African records as presents. If Desi Palmer was like a drug, I overdosed again. This song is called Wreckage and it was inspired by a Beach Boys song. And I always, I always used to think that I hated the Beach Boys. But there's a song called Girl Don't Tell Me I'll Write. That's really amazing. Are you going through anything when you were writing this song that inspired the lyrics? Yeah, it's all real. It's about being attached to somebody who's fucking with you. So by the wreckage from here. 